Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. You are watching App Unbox. And in this video, we are diving deep into the world of podcast hosting with a focus on a game changer, PodOps, podcast hosting. If you're looking for a seamless podcast management and distribution, you're in the right place. So let's get started. Before we jump right into details, let's quickly cover what PodOps podcast hosting is all about. In a nutshell, PodOps offers an all-in-one platform designed to streamline your podcasting journey from recording, editing, to distribution and analytics. PodOps has got you covered. All right, guys, so here is PodOps. We are gonna create an account real quick. That's a bummer that we don't have Google sign-in, so we are gonna have to fill in every details. Okay, no problem. We are going to fill in every details. All right, guys, we have PodOps host dashboard here and we have our account. We haven't set profile picture. So uh, total subscribers zero, total podcast zero, total sponsors zero and uh, graduate uh, earned graduate earned uh, zero okay now we have dashboard here then right on the dashboard we have the podcast panel then we can view our sponsors we can view our subscribers we can get uh, analytics data from here and RSS feed import we can import RSS feeds we have graduate graduate earnings help uh, help center is here and we can log out from our account on this bottom then we have news and updates so we're gonna open the news to see what news and update these are and then we are gonna jump right into podcasts too okay so let's go to podcast here and then well it <laughs> doesn't seem to be working okay and we're gonna check out the news first play episodes on a loop the memories the memories the goodness on loop okay the memories, the moments, the goodness, and on loop. So it's indicating that we can play episodes on loop just like music. we play music on loop. The same way we can play episodes on loop here. No worries, nothing, no big deal here. Now let's go to my podcasts and then we are going to create a podcast. Podcast name, test podcast, select a plan. We're going to select the free plan, which is going to give us zero or uh, two hours per monthly. So here we selected the free plan and then we are going to select create. Now we are going to have to select a profile picture. We can, uh, you are using free plan. Each podcast episode will be deducted in 100, deleted in 120 days. So uh, since we are using the free plan, our uh, podcast episodes will be deleted in 120 days. Well, no problem. 120 days means four months. So you can keep podcasts for four months, if, even if you don't purchase the uh, premium plan so let's go ahead and check out their pricings now i wonder where are the pricings are we're going to go to health panel and do we have the pricings in the health panel well the pricing is not here let's go to profiles do we have the pricing in profile uh, well here is the upgrade there there are no pricing options so we had to work hard to find the pricing plan and here are the pricing plan we have free plan which is going to be two hours each month uh, ten dollar for light plan uh, five hours each month uh, unlimited team members import podcast for free so these are the features you will be getting through uh, light package and we have monthly yearly package too so yearly package is going to give us this is light plus which is where we are saving twenty dollars this is pro plus we'll be saving more than twenty dollars we'll be saving forty dollars and in advanced plus we are going to be saving uh, around sixty dollars and these are the monthly packages so uh, in pro package we are paying twenty dollars per month and we can upload eight hours each month then advanced package we can upload 15 hours each month and paying for thirty dollars Alright, so these features are more or less the same in all of these packages. Only the change is the hours per month is the only changes that's noticeable. Now let's go to pod ops and find a lifetime deal for pod op. Here we're on sale. Okay, PC World Shop. Alright, Reddit, uh, Captera, Digital Launchpad. Alright. 
since we can't find anything else we are going to go to digital launchpad and part of host itself okay we have it on dealify uh, but it's looking promoly lifetime it's promoly not podcast prom it's not pod ops it's promoly so we are going to close it and here is pod ops let's click view more clicking on buy now so and we are <laughs> redirected to apps demo as i knew Okay, so we are in AppSumo now, but uh, we have PodOps Podcast Hosting. It's only $29. So let's see what we are getting in $29. And we are getting the lifetime deal on $29, right? So here are the deal terms and conditions for $29. And then we have uh, PodOps Podcast Hosting, which is upload five hours each month. So we are getting five hours each month, which means this plan is equivalent to uh, this plan which is the light package so uh, it's gonna cost uh, in $29 we're around $30 we're gonna get three months of service from this light plan and here we're just paying $29 for a lifetime package of uh, your pod ops and here we are getting upload five hours okay tipping feature uh, import podcast for free stack one additional code uh, upload eight hours so if we stack one additional code we are going to be able to upload eight hours each month and if we stack two additional codes then we're going to be able to upload 15 hours each month so if we buy more codes then it will be like uh, this package light then if we add another code it's going to be pro package then if we add another code it will be the advanced package then let's see what's here one code regular purchase uh, five hours two codes eight upload hours 58 dollar okay then we have three codes which is going to cost us 87 dollar and we get 15 upload hours for uh, 87 dollars okay that's pretty amazing that's what uh, we are getting from pod ops and that's not all if you don't feel like uh, doing podcasting anymore in two months then you can just return the software and get your money back without hesitations all right so uh, we are going to close the plan and move back to podcast All right, so here is the test podcast that we have created. Now we are going to manage it. So here we are going to upload a picture for our pod ops. Here's a profile picture and we are going to select a banner picture. Well, that looks pretty nice. Uh, well, why don't we just change our profile picture too? Well, in the profile picture, I'm not going to use the app unbox. We're just going to use something else. Like, let's use this one. Alright, profile picture set. So, we are going to go back to pod ops host. Dashboard. And here we have one total podcast. Let's get back to that podcast. Manage again. Your website address, okay. Episode limits, so we can show all episodes, two most recent, okay. We're gonna be showing two, uh, five most recent. Podcast category will be business and marketing. Uh, podcast language will be English. Now we have artist, which is myself. <laughs> Don't write uh, myself here. You guys are gonna write your name, okay? Then keyword will be business, information, technology. Okay, so these are gonna be the keywords. Separate with comma, okay? So three keywords set we have separated them with comma as they uh, they are saying there okay, a contact email will be this one no problem podcast type will be episodic or serial podcast type will be episodic not serial so we are not going to be maintaining any serial here and then we have podcast description so uh, we have save here pdf uh, etc so 
Okay, so these are the things that are going to modify our writing. So podcast description is going to be there is no need for this description. It's okay. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, guys, so I have successfully updated the podcast. Now, uh, let's, uh, okay, let's go back. We have episodes, player, social media, analytics. Uh, so what happens? Okay, we should not have got back. We are going to go inside manage again. Then we are going to go visit episodes. And guess what? There are no episodes in our podcast. So we are going to select some episodes, uh, choose an audio file. Well, I already have some audio files here, so we are going to use these. Now, let's say test, uh, oh, this one is going to be old. All right, so let's upload this one, MP3. MP3. Can I use a 4K receiver with a 1080p TV? If you plan to upgrade your TV in the future or want to take advantage. Okay, we're going to choose file from here. Let's go. All right, there we have it. Can I use a 4K receiver with eight? Yeah, I'm just uh, uploading untitled episode. Episode one. Uh, we don't need notes, so we're going to have episode number. Episode number one. Episode season is going to also be one. Okay, we are going to select episode type. It's going to be full. So we are going to publish this now, so we are going to select publish, uh, explicit content, well not. Okay, so let's go ahead, private episodes appear only to your subscribers. We can select private episode if we had the premium plan, but we don't have the premium plan, so we are unable to select the private episode. Now let's go ahead and select save. Alright, so we have one episode here, now let's go ahead and upload two more. Choose file. So this time we have selected a WAV file. Hello everyone, this is a shortcast created by App Unbox just to test out Twerble. Okay, this is another audio file. Now we are going to select episode two and rename episode two to this title. And we are going to select episode number two and we're going to select season also one and it's also going to be this is going to be trailer. No, it's also going to be full. No, it's going to be trailer. Okay. Let's make it trailer. We're going to publish it now and then we're going to select save. So we have two episodes, episode one and episode two. Now we're going to go ahead and upload another episode. Selecting another one. So now I will be reading from this note. So, okay, that's fine. This is gonna be, well, uh, episode title should not be episode three, okay? Let's just rename something else, third podcast. Ever okay, third podcast ever episode three episode season is gonna be one again, and this time it's gonna be bonus. So, here we are gonna select publish again, and then we're gonna save. All right, so now you can see we have uploaded three of them, and we still have one hour 59 minutes remaining. So, if you uh, record short podcasts, then you might not need that much, but if you record long podcasts, like around 15 to 30 minutes, then you won't be able to record more than four to eight podcasts. All right, so since we have three episodes already, we are just gonna go to player. And now uh, adjust the look and feel of your audio player. So we are gonna adjust the look and feel of our audio player. Now this is our audio player. And this is how people are looking at our player when playing our podcasts. Now we want to change that. Now let's select a background color. We can select background color. Uh, we can use uh, we can select RGB value. As you can see, these RGB values are. 
zero two five zero how about two five zero everywhere so we can select color by matching RGBs or we can just use the dropper so I'm gonna use the dropper to get some kind of background that's related to our app and box logo so here we have selected the icon colors will be let's go ahead and pinch another one so let the icon colors be this one timer color let the timer color be something like this how about some deeper all right so this is the timer color and then we are going to go to title color let's keep it a little lighter then we have sound wave colors so sound wave colors uh, we have two kind progress bar and sound wave color itself so here is the sound wave color let's uh, make it white oh if it's totally white then no one will be able to see it so we have to select a color for our sound waves let's go to the dropper again and select something else now I want to select something uh, some kind of color like this one and then progress bar color will be something like this one but a little more on this side a little deeper yeah that looks better now we have artworks you can hide the artwork like uh, this our logo will be hidden and you can hide the share button so we are not gonna hide share button we are gonna keep it so that people can share it we're gonna be we're gonna be keeping the download button too so that people can download if they want now a weird thing happened is what uh, when I hidden the share button and the download button they were right beside this uh, information icon here but guess what uh, after I've hidden them and reappeared them they are just uh, gone they are out from their location and I don't know how to get them back to their location uh, this should be fixed and if it's not fixed then it will be a really bad a bad thing to look at and I'll have to be forced to hide them all right no problem so uh, let's just try to hide the artwork and reappear it now it's still not working now we have text updates we can go to season title we can update the season text so let's see what happens is something happening here no nothing's happening so we're not going to update any of these we're just going to save the player and let's see what happens all right so they have uh, came back to their original location so it's okay there is no problem now we are going to get back since our player is totally ready it looks really cool and let's get back successful podcast optimized then we have social media here let's see what social media does so we can add our social media here we'll add our facebook page twitter instagram page linkedin and our youtube channel actually youtube channel yeah and this is gonna be spacex soon okay so social update is gonna be here then we have analytics where we will be able to get analytical data of our podcasts all right now there we have it podcast analytics since we don't have any views shares plays downloads or subscribers that's why our analytics podcast analytics is showing no graph bars and it's all all of them are zero okay then we have podcast directory analysis apple podcasts connect google podcasts manager and shop spotify podcasters so visit providers below to view your stats we can visit the providers below to view our stats and after that we have directory let's see what's in the directories and here with using directories we can get listed in apple podcast google podcast amazon podcasts or we can just get listed on these podcastings if our podcast is good enough then we should get listed but since we are just making test podcasts so we don't want to get listed into any of these but let me see how will I be able to get listed so here we are going to copy our RSS feed URL then claim submit podcast to Google go to Google podcast managers website and then Google podcast URL then we are going to be able to save Google podcasters okay so it is that much simple and then we are going to move to websites let's see what's here all right so this is our website nothing else nothing special so it's uh, the website of our podcast 
that's all pop host default default URL we can use custom domain uh, but that will cost some extra dollars uh, 1.49 monthly and uh, $12 monthly now I'm hoping that this package is included in the app sumo can I use a 4k receiver with a now let's check uh, if the custom domain is available in AppSumo's package or not. Alright, scrolling downwards. So here we have upload 5 hours each month, 0% uh, free on tip earned. Uh, we have a tipping feature, dynamic content builder, email, chat support, but do we have domain? Okay, custom domain, let's search for it. So we don't have custom domain in this package. So even if we purchase from AppSumo's lifetime deal, we, we are gonna have to purchase one of these if we want a custom domain. So let's check out this one. Click. Click. Okay, now we are gonna be redirected to our website. So this is pod, uh, podopshost.com slash our website where we have zero subscribers. Let's see if I can subscribe to myself. No, I could not. Then here are the episodes. So people will click on them and they will be able to get our podcasts. Can I use a 4K receiver with a 1080p TV? If now this play icon is pretty nice. It's just rolling around. And here are all the buttons. You can just uh, turn on loop and let's see how it loops back and forth as you can see it has just looped and now we're gonna try again and this time it stopped because the loop was turned off and now we're gonna co close this window and we're gonna get back to our website and then we are gonna tr see what cancel and redirect does so here is cancel or redirect move your podcast to another hosting service you can cancel delete all your content in your account you can delete the entire account from here or keep all of your current episodes online for $5 a month. So we can create archives at only $5 per month, but uh, we're not doing anything. These will be automatically removed after two months. So why, why would I remove them? Let's just keep them for two months and see if I get any subscribers or not. So if you're a podcast aficionado, guys, then this uh, software will be a very helpful thing to just store your podcasts and share them with people. As you can see, I clicked one of, I played this one from the website link and we have one view, one play. So if you have any views or plays, then it will be up updated on your episode uh, dashboards here. So there you have it folks, PodOps Podcast Hosting, which is a powerful platform that simplifies podcast management, distribution, and even monetization. Whether you're a solo podcaster or part of a team, this platform has everything you need to take your podcast to the next level. Thanks for joining us today and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our future updates. And also, if you want PodOps, then make sure to check the link down below and purchase it from AppSumo. Don't worry, if you don't feel like it's right for you, you can return it in two months so your money will not be wasted.